What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to customize the user interface in Vegas Pro 15. So, here we are in Vegas Pro 15, and by default, this is how Vegas Pro 15 will look for you. Now, I prefer the default look a lot more compared to the default look on Vegas Pro 14, because this trimmer, which is now down here, is usually in the middle between all of these items here, and in the middle of the video preview, which squashes everything. So now that's down here. Again, if you don't use it, which I don't use it, you can press this X to get rid of it. Now over here we have the master bus. Now, weirdly, I never use this in Vegas Pro 14, but in Vegas Pro 15, I do tend to use it a lot more, even though it does the exact same thing. Let's say uh, I wanna move it. So I would press here and drag it away. You can see it is now freely moving. And if we want to duck it, you can see it says hold control to duck. So let's put it over to the side. And you can see that is now given the video its own area. It's given the master bus its own area. We can expand that out. And then we have everything here. Again, projects, media, maybe, or even the Explorer. Let's use the Explorer. Let's drag this off to the side up here where the, um, where the master bus was. So again, we hold control to duck it to the window and you can see it just clipped into place like that. The video will go smaller, but then we can always put this smaller, put the volume smaller and just like that, along with all the other things here. Probably a bad example to do because that is so squashed, but remember we always have that new feature in Vegas now where we can press this button and it expands out the entire thing just like that. And of course, pressing that button hides everything. Now you can also come over to view windows layout and you can see there are some defaults set up for you. Now the default layout is the layout you saw already. Now if you go to Vegas 14 default, you'll see this is how Vegas 14 looked. And this is exactly what I was talking about, how the trimmer is right here, right in the middle of the video and everything goes to the side. A feature I never have used and I never will use and it's just in the way. But coming back to view and windows layout, you have audio mixing for those that are interested in audio mixing. This will probably be best for you to use. And then finally, we have view windows layout. We have color correction. So maybe those who are doing films, maybe those who want to um, make their face cam look better. Here you go. This is where you can do it. You have the vector scope right here, which can be useful. So you can see I actually moved the master here. Let's say I like it and let's say I want to keep it. What you do is come over to view, windows layout and come here and select save layout as. Now call this something you'll remember. Now, if it's going to be something I would remember, I'd call this editing because this is where the basic editing stuff is. I'd select okay. And now if you ever mess something up, for example, let's just throw that up there like this. Let's say you've done that by mistake and you don't want to reset back to default and then move everything back how it was. What you can do is come back to view windows layout and simply select editing. So you press that and everything will now go back to normal as you set it before. <laughs> 